What the hey. f are you doing out here? What do you mean? What the f this? You're ruining my hunting land. Who the f are you? Why are you out here? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. We actually, we went, I actually heard from a gentleman who was like grandpa age and he said, hey, can you come out here and trim this? And trim up along the fence line because he's old and already passed away and he wanted to see the wildlife. So we thought we'd come out here and trim it up just so we could come by and try to help the grandpa out. Who's the grandpa? This is my property. His name was That's not my grandpa. I don't know who the hell told you to get out here. Was well, this your property? This is my property. You're ruining my deer hunting. You see, you see my stance? I see quite a few back there, but are you... I don't understand. Is it, are you sure it's not your dad? No, I know I have no in my family. I don't know who the told you. Come out here. I mean, we can finish it up. We're about done. No, why don't you get the out of here? And I'm gonna sue you. Sue me for what? What are you doing? I'm trying to spit on this too? Yeah. Like, there must be a mistake here. I'll give him a call and shoot him a message. Something needs to happen, but you. Finish up what you're doing right here and get the f out of here. Or we'll see what the police have to say. Welcome back to Outdoors with Eric. This was the most bizarre situation ever. We had permission from an owner to come down and actually trim up this property and take care of some brush. We had this other individual showing up who claimed he hunted out here and he owned the property. He threatened that I needed to leave or he's gonna call the cops. The real question is, do the cops show up and whose property is it? We'll share that here in just a little while.
we just finished up here at the property. That was insane. Like I have never been spit on or spit at. Can you believe that? I I still in shock. I at first I was like, what just what just happened? But so we ended up calling the grandpa that I talked to this morning. And the good news is that this property is the grandpa's. The bad news is the Yahoo who drove in here apparently used to hunt here and thinks it's his property.